Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen from TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Let's get right into the shit right now. This video is about AM Costa Rica. AM Costa Rica is a website. It's only on the internet. It's been around a long time and it bills itself as your daily English language news source Monday through Friday. Again, it's popular. It's popular with the search engines which make it popular and a lot of gringos end up finding it. Now, so what happens is a lot a lot of people don't read, you know, speak Spanish or read Spanish, so AM Costa Rica becomes their kind of connection in Costa Rica with like a gringo perspective type of thing. So which is sad, and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Now, AM Costa Rica is not a news source, far from it, not even close, not even a serious consideration. It exists for one reason and one reason only, and that's for advertising dollars. Surprise, surprise, right? No problem making money. I think that's cool, whatever. But be clear, AM Costa Rica is first and foremost a referral site, a Craigslist, a yellow pages for gringos living here who are thinking about living here who just don't know where to find shit themselves. It's a gringo site by a gringo for gringos which equal gringo pricing, all right? Gringo pricing for products and services. So you might want to think about that next time you want to click on that uh, affordable condo advertisement. Anyway, if you didn't know AM Costa Rica, you really would, and, and you went to the site, you really would think that it's the Yellow Pages. It's very difficult to decipher where ads stop and supposed stories start. If a baby was to eat macaroni and cheese, the National Enquirer, and blinking Christmas lights, it would puke out AM Costa Rica. And yes, it really is that bad. You have to take two aspirin before you even go to the site. It is so 10 years ago with its blinking, rotating, flashing advertisements. Obviously, they never got the memo 10 years ago that that's, that type of advertising is annoying and it causes schizophrenia. I made up that second part. Now, the only upgrade I, th I think they've done in the last 10 years is to find new ways to add advertising. Boom, 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 boom. They don't even fake it anymore. It's like a collage. But you know what? I, I am a little surprised that the advertisers themselves don't get a little ticked, but obviously they're making money, and I guess that's the bottom line, so probably they don't even care. Now, I call major, major, major bullshit on the news source part. First off, you got to know the owner or the editor guy. His name is Jay Brodell. He's very old school. He's right of Reagan. He's very conservative, which isn't a problem really, but his views tend to, you know, go right into AM Costa Rica. So stories tend to be very Fox News-like, sensationalized, more editorial than news, exceptions that poses the rule, um, uh, one-sided, no perspective, no balance. Um, Okay, let's take, let's take Obamacare. I don't care what you think about it. It's good, it's bad, it sucks, whatever. But on Fox News, you never hear one good thing about Obamacare. It's just hammer, 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 hammer. And so I'm not saying, I'm not saying AM Costa Rica lies. I'm just saying it's just so one-sided that it offers no perspective. And that's just on the page one, the relevant stuff. The rest of their, the rest of their pages is cut and paste from the Newswire, from AM Costa Rica staff, which don't even get me started on their writing skills. Uh, I'm not sure, yeah, whatever. But, but mostly that stuff is filler. All it is, is is something for the advertisement to frame around on the page. Now, they do on usually the first page or two, they, they, they a lot of times have like an expert articles written by an expert, like maybe uh, about um, land scams in Costa Rica and how to avoid them. That's good information. You want to know that information. But the last paragraph's all about the author, how to get in touch with him, how to solve the problem. He can help you. Has a gender written all over it. And it's the sad thing is it's it could be quality stuff if it offered perspective. It's good. It's good information that we need to know. And you know what? Speaking of quality stuff, I do have one good thing to say about AM Costa Rica, and that's a lady named Jay, uh, Joe Stewart. Um, she writes, I think, once a week. She lives in San Jose. It's about her musings here, and they're fun to read. And she's, you know, she's a good writer. Unfortunately, she doesn't <laughs> write the whole AM Costa Rica. Anyway, so she's good. So, what to do, Jay Brodell? What to do? I guess nothing, or you would have done something a long time ago to change your sorry excuse for a news source. All right, but. You've been having your cake and eating it too for a long, long time with your if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality. 
Why? Because you make money. Your advertisers make money. That's the bottom line, right? Bottom line, bottom line. Obviously, you feel no obligation to provide any sort of relevant, unbiased news to your readers that, that need it. There's, uh, like I said, there's, we need that down here. So I don't think you're not going to change. Obviously, you're not going to change. You've been doing it a long time, obviously making good money. So the only thing I can hope for is competition. The only thing your readers can hope for is better competition through a news source. Somebody that offers perspective, balance, great information for a gringo thinking about living here or that does live here. So your antiquated site could be what it, what it really is. Come out is a Costa Rica Craigslist for rich people that have money to, to spend. If I had my way, anybody watching this video would write to AM Costa Rica and on the subject line would put Mike's right and on the message part a click to this video. And that's it. And maybe if we could get, I don't know, a hundred, one thousand, whatever to you, maybe you'd do something to make some change. Dude, you have the platform. You have the people. Come on, man, you're dropping the ball. So anyway, I don't know. Get, get Joe Stewart to write your stuff over it.